Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So today we are continue our series. So we want to um, be able to change the animation for aiming and also uh, be able to shooting. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep the channel going. And with your support, I want to help small developers to create the games and create a small studio to create video game all together. So if we create that studio, we can provide you with asset, animation, blueprint, and also we can help you absolutely for free. So if you want to support us, the best way to do it is go to my uh, page of coffee. So if you enter in coffee, you can uh, donate for just one dollar or you can be a member if you want. So if you are a member, depending on your subscription, you're going to have exclusive videos, access to the video before they're published, and also project files from these tutorials. So if you are a coffee member and you want to see all the videos is already available for you, the only you have to do is go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel in the right top corner here. If you click here, they're going to give you a list with all the videos is already made. So this is going to be the last update, the update I update this list almost every day. This is the um, video game my wife makes, so if you want to check it out. And this is going to be the free stuff for everybody. And this is going to be the new video added in the last uh, update. And also, there are going to be exclusive videos here, all the unpublished tutorial videos, and also uh, all unpublished game videos, and the project file if you want it. So if you want to talk with me directly, you need to go to my Discord. So if you go to my Discord, you can write me for whatever you like. For example, you, uh, you can write me if you need help in your project, or something's not working, or you want to know something about how to work the Unreal working, or the tutorial is not working, you can uh, write me from there. For me, it's more easy to respond from the Discord to respond to the YouTube comments. So if you want to talk with me for uh, privately or sponsorship, you have to write me to my email. My email and the, the, uh, the links from Discord and Coffee they're going to be in the description of this video. And uh, also remember, the 100% of the money uh, raised, they're going to be for the creation of video game and for the YouTube channel. So thank you and let's start the tutorial. So let's go to Unreal. So in Unreal, we create this in the last video so we can go play and we can walk, we can pick up this uh, weapon and also we can zoom our camera but we are not be able to change the animation because I don't want this animation I want to be able to aim in. and also um, I don't want to move in like that the rotation so let's put the animation first so let's close here and so let's do that so let's go to GTA go to content in here in the anime starter pack we want to the um, we have the rifle, so it's gonna be idle rifle idle size. So in this one, let's duplicate because I don't want to uh, lose that one. So and here we want to only add it in the beginning to DB, so I know this our animation. So in here, let's move this stuff to here. So let's go GTA, we open to character animation. So let's drag this to animation, and let's go to animation, and we have it right here. So this is the animation we want to be aiming. So let's close this. So now let's go to DP animation blueprint. And let's go to locomotion to start the program from the beginning. So we want to be able to um, uh, aim in from here. So if we are idle, we want to be a able to aim into. So in here, we want to drag this stuff like here. And we can copy this because we needed this with the boolean. So copy and paste. So if this boolean is false, I want to be like that. And if it's true, I want to be um, DP iron iron size. So I'm gonna be like that. So the boolean you want, they wanna be the aiming, but we don't have it yet uh, adjusted. So let's go to event here. So let's go to DP character. So DP character get dp character and let's go to get aim so if you don't know what they're coming from so let's go to check here so let's go to gta character and go to character main one we have in here 
So if we press aim, we set this boolean. So that's we are calling it. I'm gonna this aim. So in here, let's promote this to variable, and let's connect this to a new one. This I don't create it. So let's add a pin. So the four, we can go like this. So to be a little more organized. And also we can call up this file later right now no it's okay so compound save so there's aiming so let's go to idle so we need to connect the aiming to here so if it's true they want to do that if we are in idle so let's connect this to here it does set compound save so go play if we we pick up the weapon and we are idle if i press aiming now i have this animation so that is perfect but I, if we move it, so if we, we try to move, they change the animation because we don't have it. So they need to add it in there too. So let's go to water and run. And here we want to do exactly the same. So let's drag this tab in here, copy and paste. So let's go to aiming. So it's gonna be aim, go like that. So if it's false, let's go like this. But if it's true, I want to be able to ion size. So let's connect this with this, compile and save. So now we go play and we pick up this weapon and in the aiming if we walk in the uh, aiming correctly. But we have the uh, wrong rotation. So let's change this. So let's close this. I uh, go to DP chart the blueprint. And here we want to call something when we aiming. So in here, let's go like that. And uh, maybe we need some space. So let's put this. And uh, let's get to character movement. So let's get character movement. And from here, we need to find some call it. I don't remember exactly. So we need to go all the way down when they say character movement rotation uh, setting. So we want to set this orientation orient rotation to movement to false so in here going to be set orient rotation to movement so they're going to be false if we aiming and we want to copy and paste this so we we are not aiming we want to be true so let's connect this to reverse and um, target the movement to the target so compile and save so now if we go play and we pick up this uh, weapon we are aiming and we have this uh, rotation but uh, still if we move the camera there is no perfect yet but it's better so now here's working fine when I aiming they work it like that so we want to change this camera settings so in here they're almost the same so check the movement go where they have the or orient and rotation and we need to do this use controller desired rotation so let's do that so let's drag this a little bit and here let's call that so for reference oh my so where it is okay here use controller desired so here set use controller Side rotation, but this time they're gonna be true in here. Oh, play, and we can copy and paste this and do the same, but this time false. So let's connect this to reverse, and also we can um, reroute this a little bit to have better connection like this. So compile and save. We can go play. So now it's working fine. So if I pick up this yeah, aiming, I can move right and also when I change the camera, they do doing fine. But they're not working up and down, so they're gonna do it that in the next episode. But we want to be able to uh, shooting now. So we have this, so let's collapse all this stuff because they're gonna be a little bit confusing here. So let's go here, collapse this to aim. So they have more space here, put it like here, so compile and save, 
and also the animation they have a lot of mess here so let's call up this stuff so here we can call up this to the ground speed so this speed so let's call up this let's collapse what I say speed so we can delete this we don't need it so let's go like this the one they wanna be show move so let's collapse it show oh my show move like that so we can delete this so this for the be more messy <laughs> so this is falling so here collab this so is falling so let's delete this uh, let's do it like that and also the one they wanna be a key weapon And the last one, A. So we can move this to here. So compile and save. So let's do that, be able to uh, shooting. So to be able to shoot, we, uh, we can make this for a lot of different ways. So, but they have only two uh, main ways to do that. So the first way is to use a spawn some actor from your weapon. So when they hit the actors or something, they're gonna um, hit it and we can uh, hard that and thing like that. And also the second way, that is the best way I like. So they're gonna be using the camera location because if we're using the camera location, when we are looking at, we are fighting in that direction. So I like this way better to the other one just because for um, it's more uh, optimized because if you don't spawn something from your weapon so you don't need to create that actor in the game so if you don't create an actor you can save that resource for another thing and also if you uh, play a game uh, if your assets are AAA so the, when you can save some resources they're gonna be better so that's why I like to use this in my own project to make the camera location for shooting. So I'm gonna show you that, but if you want to uh, do it the other one, to the spawn uh, project style, thing like that, you can do it perfectly fine too. But in my case, I wanna show you how to do it the camera location. So let's close here, and let's go to the VHR, the blueprint. So in here, we want to create an input or be able to fire so let's go to edit go to project settings and go all the way to input and let's create another one and let's call this to fire so I uh, use it only the game pass on here they're gonna call this trigger so gonna be game pad right trigger because I don't like to use a keyboard <laughs> but if you want to you can put whatever you like here and all the input you want so let's close this one Go to the pizza the blueprint and here let's call the new input so gonna be fire so let's call this so now when we press fire we want to make a lane trace so in here they're gonna be lane trace by channel remember don't use multi line try by channel because they don't wanna work so let's go light try by channel and we need to the start location so it's gonna be the follow camera and let's get world location because we need where it is and put this to in the start location and also we need the end so the end they wanna be where where are where I or where we are looking at so that's why from here they wanna be the get forward vector so get uh, forward vector and we can connect this to here because we need to be more far away. So that's gonna be the, the distance that your bullet is gonna be. So from here, they're gonna be multiply some, some values, but I don't want to make this uh, vector. So right click here and convert pin to float. So the values I like, probably they're gonna be 10,000. 
and you can put whatever you like depending uh, depends on your weapons or thing like that so and we can connect this again here because we need to where location we got so in here we're gonna add it to our new uh, multiply barrier here so they're gonna connect this to the end so now they have the land trace working so to see to see that in action so let's go to drag the book type and change this to for duration so let's compile and save and let's go play so now if we pick up the weapon if we shoot we can see this line trace uh, they don't work in 100% because the aiming they is not really in the right position because we know we need to uh, change this and uh, make this offset because right now we don't have it they're gonna be in the next video and also for the next video we want to fix this uh, walking because right now we are not walking <laughs> when aiming and also in here if we go shooting you can see we can shoot even if we don't look in. so let's fix this first so in here we need to change this only be able to fire if we aiming so let's go to aiming and let's do a branch here and connect this to here if we are aiming they want to be true and also we want if we have the equip weapon but we don't need to put in here because if you remember in the aiming we're doing here first so if we have keep the weapon we can be able to aim it so if we we can be able to aim it uh, automatically they're gonna be false so we don't need to do that so now if we don't aiming we can shoot so let's go play so now if I press they don't do nothing at all but if I aiming now I can be able to shoot so that's gonna be it for this video like I said in the next video they're gonna fix to make this offset also fix this animation a little bit because I see the hand the left hand they're not really touching the web the weapon and also we want to be able to walk in if we are aiming so that's gonna be it for this video so if you, you can if you want to support us you can do it in coffee because remember I want to create this small studio so we can provide you with asset animation blueprints and also we can help you absolutely for free so that's why we want to create this studio so thank you for watching again and i see you in the next video so bye bye